Hello, my beautiful Tauruses. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for what do they secretly want to tell you that they haven't told you? We're going to look at that. We're also going to look at um, what's their next move and what's the likely outcome here. So guys, if you like it this way, you want me to continue to this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. Also, thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. And if you like a personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkers.com, or check out the description box below. As you guys can see, there is multiple decks here that we're going to be working with today to get to the bottom of this situation of what they secretly want to tell you. Okay, so let's jump right in. What does Taurus's love interest and wonder here for? The one they want to know about. What does Taurus's love the secret you want to tell Taurus's? Show me the cards I need you to. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. Let's take a look at this. All right. Whoa. We got the moon card coming out first here. We have the six of pentacles. We have the three of swords. We have the hangman energy. We have the empress. We have the six of wands, nice card, okay? Eight of cups, six of swords, and we got the queen of wands. Okay, so potentially we could see there's an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy potentially involved with this situation. For some of you, there could be uh, something to do with starting a family or motherly energy here with the empress card energy. Um, we see at the bottom of the deck, we see a relationship Okay, a twin flame soulmate connection. And I want to work together here. Okay, three of pentacles energy. So first of all, your person has this sense of confusion, okay? I feel like your person's kind of like looking at the bigger picture here and trying to figure things out, okay? They're trying to get more information. I feel like also in this particular card, this looks like a phone in the background. So I feel like your person is watching you, spying on you. There's some deceptions about the situation. And also I feel like they're kind of seeing one thing but doing another, okay? Um, I feel like there's definitely some hidden things about the situation with this moon card energy. Okay, so, and there also could be a dreamy kind of energy here also. They're also making me concerns with this person that there's something hidden about the situation that needs to be revealed, okay? So let's get more information about this. What is this moon card about? What do they secretly want to tell Taurus? What's this moon card about? What is this moon card? I need to see. Show me the cards I need. Let's see. Okay, so your person is asking the question, why? Why is this happening? Your person is concerned that there is there is not an equal exchange here. Your person is waiting for the right time here. They keep thinking about you and that they're trying to get some kind of support to clear the air, okay? We come to the hangman energy. We see that there is something that's stuck here. This person wants to tell you that they're stuck and stagnant here, okay? There's a stuck and stagnation here. I feel like they're trying to bring the light to this. They're trying to get new perspective. They're trying to make a decision. That's what I feel like to have a conversation about this. They don't know how to go about having this conversation. Okay. So they're keeping themselves in this stagnated position. Okay. So what's this about, please? Hesitation on taking a risk. Trying to focus on the here and now. And trying to see how this situation, how this potential can make them happy with the happy, happy card. Okay. And also right below that, they want to reveal some truths here. They want the truth to come out about their feelings. This person is definitely wanting to uh, voice some things about walking away from a situation physically or mentally. Emotionally, they're kind of just like not wanting to deal with this. And they're trying to see, you know, something come out of this situation. They may feel like there's a lot of delays and challenges here. Let's see what this is about. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Why is the Eight of Cups here? So this person's like, all right, look, I wanna take a break here and focus on the stillness until things can be brought to light when it comes to these pleasures and how to purify this situation and for something to change here, okay. 
Okay, so this person's like, all right, I'm confused, and I'm stagnant here, and I'm having concerns about walking away physically or mentally or not wanting to deal with my emotions. And so I want to be very giving in my time, in my money, in my love. And we see, I'm, I, I feel like, you know, I want to tell you you're so attractive and I want to take care of you and I want to be there for you and I see there's so much potential here with Empress card energy. I'm trying to tiptoe back here with the Six of Swords energy to overcome the challenges here. What is this Six of Pentacles energy? What's, what is this about, please? Yeah, money, finance, abundance, trying to be sweet, having a lot of fear. So there is money concerns with this person, okay? And it looks like they're trying to do things. They're trying to be very giving. They're trying to be very sweet, but they're, they're lacking some kind of trust here. Or they may be doing it for some of you guys because uh, they have fear that you may find out that there potentially is a third party with the Three of Swords energy or this person's like, I want to take care of you, I want to give to you because I want uh, you to see that I'm valuable. I'm lacking the trust here, I'm having a lot of fears around the situation and how things can grow. And I'm very cautious and defensive here in my determination. Okay, let's keep going. What's this Empress card about? What's this Empress card about? Okay, there's some jealousy going on here. And they want jealousy to end. And they want to bring this to light. Okay, so they're this, your person's, either there's some challenges, the arguments or fights here that you guys have been having lately. And this person's like, all right, you know what? I, I really want that to end. I want that to stop. And I want to bring light to that. I want to be ideal about the situation. I want to bring movement here and to cleanse the situation. Um, and we see consciousness. So I can regain my confidence here and things can stop. And I want to have faith that these things from the past are not going to come up and we can have peace when it comes to this. Okay, so let's keep going. So Six of Swords is saying, I want to get past these challenges. I want to overcome these barriers. I want to be successful here and see the light in the tunnel. I want movement here. Why is the Six of Swords here? So there's some stuff that happened and they're trying to just focus on their happiness because you know there's challenges here with the flame card energy when it comes to a person and they want to bring things together, back together when it comes to house and family or something stable here. So they're trying to put the effort into this because of this situation pertaining to the past. Uh, it's like ghosts in the past, something from the past, and they're concerned about something shocking and surprising in this deception. Okay. All right, so we got the Three of Swords. This person wants to tell you about some sense of heartache here. Okay. What's this Three of Swords about? What's this Three of Swords about? Okay, someone from the past, something shocking and surprising, and there was some deceptions there. So this heartache or this potentially third party situation or it's more than one person involved in the situation, there were some ghosts in the past, some things from the past that were really shocking and surprising or may cause some shock and surprise because there were some deceptions here. Um, Someone is trying to be happy, and there is some challenges here because there were some deceptions, Fox card energy, something secret here. Um, and it's like, all right, I want to bring this back together. You know, I want to um, shake on this. I want to have a connection here, and I'm trying to be wise in my decision making. Okay, let's get going. What is this Six of Wands? Now, Six of Wands has to do with confidence, a victory here, gaining back their confidence here when it comes to this heartache, possibly. Okay, what is the Six of Wands? Show me cards you need to see. Show me cards you need to see. Okay. We see because of something to do with the past. Something shocking. <laughs> Wanting to kiss and make up. Okay. When it comes to house and family. Okay. Let's get more information about this Queen of Wands, which talks about passion and chemistry 
and being patient here or something to do with an Aries Sagittarius Leo energy. We'll see what this is about. Okay. Okay, so again, this person's trying to preserve a situation for happiness, but there is a false mask or they're wearing a false mask. So they're not revealing their true feelings about it. And they know there's some barriers here, okay? And they're trying to be a little bit meticulous and patient about this um, because they want it to be safe, their secrets to be safe or something to be safe about this because there is a temptation here or they're concerned about some kind of temptation to lead them astray or lead you astray. Okay, so let's bring this together. Moon card, so their person, your person secretly wants to tell you that they have a sense of confusion, that there's something hidden or they have a sense that there's some kind of hidden peril. They're trying to be very giving, supportive in the sense of heartache or because of a third party situation or possibly you guys had dealt with a third party situation in the past with this person. This person's like, all right, I'm very stuck here and I, I just wanna take care of you. I find you very attractive. I see there's so much potential and I want a victory in my confidence here. I'm concerned about uh, walking away from a situation or I wanna walk away from this situation here and I wanna tiptoe back here and I wanna resolve this situation. I wanna overcome this, these challenges. Um, to see the light at the end of the tunnel and I want to be patient in my passions all right I find you very attractive very sexy okay let's go further let's go down another layer here what does Taurus's love interest the one they're here for the one they want to know about what does Taurus's love interest secretly want to tell them show me the cards they need to see. show me the cards they need to you so they want to make an effort here to have a heart heart conversation with you about their regrets they are confused about how to do that when it comes to this opportunity of love. They want to reconcile. They have a lot of uncertainty where they stand with you and they are missing you when you're not around and they want to cut away these unhealthy attachments, these unhealthy things from the past. They're stressing about this and they want some kind of communication here when it comes to that other person. And there seems to be an obsessive energy that they're really thinking about. Okay, so let's see now what is their next move towards you. Okay, let me move this out of the way. And then we're gonna look at the likely outcome here. Okay, next move, strength, 10 of pentacles, two of pentacles. So their next move is they're trying to find the courage and strength and confidence to have some kind of abundance. Uh, they're focused on the long term. Um, they could be making a move uh, to go through family here with the 10 of pentacles energy or to offer some kind of money here with the Ten of Pentacles energy. Um, I feel like also they're trying to find their confidence here in this situation, the strength here for this long-term situation, for this long-term family situation, something stable here. That's their move. They want to do something stable here. So they're going to make a decision so something can change around this. Okay, so let's get more information. Give me more information about this decision here, about this action when it comes to this decision. Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. Okay, so we see that there was this argument here and they feel there's a sense of regret that they're running out of time and they're at a crossroads because they want this soulmate connection and they're seeing this as an opportunity and they want to go the distance. There is a Six of Swords energy, okay? They want to resolve unfinished business here because they have a sense they're being left out in the cold and they want to heal this. That's their next move to try to heal this situation, making a decision towards healing it, making a decision to find the strength and courage and confidence. So there's still some yet to be decided here when it comes to a move. Okay, so let's see the likely outcome here. Nine of cups, five of cups. Okay, five of swords. What's the likely outcome here for Taurus and Taurus's love connection? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need. Two, C, okay. Okay, so we need the gift card, the work card, the deception card, okay. What's the likely outcome here? What's the likely outcome here for the connection to the Taurus? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need. See. Okay, inner peace. Okay, the thriving card and the purity card. Okay, so likely outcome for you guys coming in here for the likely outcome for this connection right now is that you're gonna get what you want here and there's gonna be something of value that's gonna bring things into peace. 
I feel like the reason why is because they're going to do something destructive because they have a lot of regret and they want to move things forward to, to bring things into light here with the purity card and the, into balance here. Um, we see that there's something hidden about this, possibly at work here with the Eight of Pentacles kind of energy here. So you're going to receive something, something of value here and wanting to put the worker effort into this, but there's still some hidden aspects about this because of destructive behavior here with the Five of Swords because there's a sense of I'm defeated here and I feel regretful about this situation. I just want to bring balance to this. I want to be honest about what's going on here. I want to move forward and strive to heal the situation, to bring things into light. So I feel like there's going to be some things revealed about regrets so that there can be effort put into this because this person's not being honest. They haven't been honest about their true feelings about feeling this defeated energy. And they want to be pure and honest and, and truthful about this in, in a sense of loyalty here with the purity card. So going down the layer here, yeah, this person's feeling like you're, they're very blessed and they're gonna be very open with you so that you guys can move down a path here, go forward here. And then going further, we see, yes, they have a desire, they have a willpower, they're going to take a passionate action towards you to end this hurt and pain here, Ten of Swords energy. You can see the person, yep, there's long-term planning going on. <laughs> Definitely, um, there's some passionate exercises coming in the future for you guys, it's likely outcome, okay? Um, because of this power move with the Emperor card energy. Mm -hmm. Knight of Wands, the intimate room, the intimate space. Uh, there's going to be a lot of openness here. And because of this abrupt action towards passion to kind of complete this pain, this hurt, so you guys can move forward here. Okay, all right, my beautiful Tauruses, I love you guys so much. If you guys like that, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I will see you guys another day or two. There's multiple readings for you guys to go check out right now. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.